Hey guys, what is going on? It is your boy Soldier here, back with a brand new video and a brand new series on the channel. In this series, I'm going to be showing you how to make a resource pack and a behavior pack and how to make a decent realm for Minecraft Bedrock. And I'm going to be showing you how to make the custom sidebar, the on-screen text where it says Reapland Faction Season 3, and also how to make a custom UI just like this or a GUI where you can make many different things, such as a teleport menu with a custom loading screen, just like that. And also how you guys can also make a shop where you can use NPCs. And when you punch these NPCs, you can then select a certain thing to buy, like spruce planks, for example. You can drag an amount, say 16 or 15, click submit, and you will get the item you purchased. I'm also going to be showing you guys how to make cell pads. So if you was to have, let's say, melons, and you wanted melons to be sold in your shop, when you stand on the cell pad, as you can see, it's a bit loud, but when you stand on the cell pad, it will sell all of the melons and then update on the sidebar when it's done. So let's get into it. So guys, when you're ready, we're now going to create a new world or you can use an existing world that may have your spawn on it. But for the video purpose, I am going to be creating a new world. Now you will need uh, certain game rules to be activated to use the game test features that we're going to be using later on in the episode. But for right now, we're going to create a brand new world. So I'm just going to call it my realm and I'm going to click game mode creative. Then we're going to go to advanced and we're going to scroll down a little bit. And you guys can then change this to what you want, such as TNT and all of that. You know, I'm going to put on show coordinates. I recommend putting this on guys. So make sure you put this on if you want to uh, use command blocks uh, like we're going to be using in this series. From there, we're going to go on to cheats and we are going to enable cheats. I'm going to put it on always day for the video purpose. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing it for the video purpose. Then we're going to scroll down and I'm going to turn on education edition. And after that, you want to turn on console commands. Okay. And I'm going to turn off weather cycle again for the video purpose. Now we're going to go down to experiments. And from here, you're going to turn on all of the experiments. Just like that. So now you have your world created. We're now going to go on to Bridge 2.0. Now the link to that will be in the description down below. It's pretty easy to set up. I'm not going to show you the setup guide, but I am going to show you what we're going to be doing on Bridge 2.0 and how to create your first resource pack and your first behavior pack using Bridge 2.0. So guys, when you've set up Bridge, what you want to do now is you will get this pop up and you want to click on Experimental Gameplay. And you want to just turn on every single one of these. Scroll down a little bit more. Individual files, leave this as it is. Do not mess with this unless you know what you're doing. Then you want to click a profile icon. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to click a random image that I've got of Replend. And for the project name, we're going to call it My Realms Act. Just like that. Now the project prefix, I'm going to call that Solus. You can put that as whatever you guys want. Now the author, again, I'm just going to put Solus Reaper Gaming, just like that. And then the project target version, leave this as Bridge, uh, if Bridge puts it as 1.19, and there's a higher version such as 1.19.10, leave it as what Bridge puts it as. It means it's the most stable version of Minecraft currently. So we're gonna leave it as 1.19.0. Now, what we're gonna do is you want to click on add pack name slash description directly to the manifest. 
This will uh, help you identify your pack in the manifest folders. So once you've done that, you want to click on create. And it's going to create a bunch of files and folders for your behavior pack and your resource pack. So now once we've done that, we're then going to open up Minecraft just like this. And we're going to go to our my, you know, we're going to go to our realm just like that. I'm going to click on the little pen here. From here, we're going to scroll down. I'm going to click on resource packs. And you're going to see my realms pack. I'm going to activate that. And the behavior pack, you should see my realms pack. I'm going to activate that as well. So we know that they're in the game now. And we know that they are working. So let's just click on play. And let's wait for it to load up. Just like that. So now we know our behavior pack and our resource pack is working. So now let's show you guys how to make your first function. So guys, I'm just going to be creating a test function so you guys understand how function folders work. In the next video, we will be going into more detail and we are going to be creating crates in the next video. But for right now, I'm just going to be showing you guys how functions work. So what you want to do is you want to click on new file over here under quick actions. And we're going to click on simple files. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to click on function where it says file name. Click on that and just type in test or call it whatever you guys want. But for the video purpose, I'm just going to put it as test. Now we're going to click on create. From here, we're going to type in an execute command. So now we're going to execute the person that ran this function. So execute space at s space tilde 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 space say hi i'm running the test command i'm going to put that just like so we're going to save that now and we are going to go into minecraft and you're going to save and quit the world that you were just on and we are going to now load the world back up. Make sure the world has the behavior pack and resource pack on it, like I said. Now what we're going to do is going to do forward slash. I'm going to type in function. And when it should, it should come up with the tab there uh, of the name that you called your function. But my function is function test. And we're going to click enter. And as you can see, it says SIW Solus. Hi, I'm running the test command. Successfully executed one function entries. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to go back to uh, bridge and underneath that, we're now going to run the execute command once again. And this time we're gonna say, this is the second message i'm sending now the reason why i'm putting that is just to show you guys that functions run from top to bottom so if i was to copy this and paste it again and put third here just like that and control s then load up minecraft now if we run a forward slash reload and enter that then when i run the test function again you will see that in order it will run the commands as i've told it to so it says siw solus hi i'm running the test command then it says in chat this is the second message i'm sending and then again underneath that this is the third message i'm sending so it does it in order from top to bottom so as you guys can see, it goes, hi, I'm running the test command. This is the second message I'm sending. And this is the third message I'm sending because it goes one, two, and three. So guys, that is it for today's video. Um, we have created our behavior pack, our resource pack. We've created a world and we've created our first function file. Now in the next video, 
I will be showing you guys how to create crates. That will be a brand new block in the game, a geometry for that block, a texture for that block, and also a function and an on interact command for that block. Now, this may sound like gibberish to a lot of people that are brand new to coding, but basically we're gonna make a block in the game that looks like a crate. And when you click on it, it's going to do a really cool noise or whatever, and then give us a random item or say a random number in chat. So we're gonna be creating crates in the next episode. And if you're excited for that, let me know down in the comments and give this video a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And we are going to be showing you everything about realms in this series. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did like it, like I said, please leave, uh, give this video a like. And I will catch you guys in the next video. I love you all. Stay soulless. Peace.